Mushroom Gecko. Hey guys, Mushroom Gecko here. Today I have for you a Nerf sniper rifle. Yes, it is a Nerf homemade sniper rifle. It's not one of those sniper rifles that Nerf makes that like sits on the stand. This, well, I want to put a scope here, but uh, this is like a sniper rifle, like. Now the handle back here, handle up here, shoot, that. So, um, I'm going to be showing off five different bullets that you can be using with this sniper rifle, plus marshmallows, which you don't have, but I guarantee you this works with marshmallows. All, uh, like, I, 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 it's supposed to do marshmallows also, it's, uh, it's a Marshmallowville, uh, blaster. So, yeah, credit to Marshmallowville. Uh, thanks for these awesome blasters, because like these PVC things, uh, if I can get this out, hang on. Well, there's like these uh, PVC couplets that like fits perfectly in here. So yeah, um, these are extremely good for this gun, because it, they just fit snuggle in there. And they just like, they're awesome. I love them so much. Um, maybe another, uh, probably a better view is like right there, you know, that type of PVC couplet. So enough of me uh, babbering about, they're blabbering about what this is. Um, let's get on to actually shooting this after I like see if it's everything in place. All right, so, um, all we're using is just regular PVC pipe, just nothing too big, nothing too small, just regular pipe. So, um, we're gonna put the bullet in here, and it's not gonna, like, go all the way down. It's gonna probably be about that much in. So, uh, let's fire this and see how good this is. Yep, oh, hang on, I need to pump this. The good thing about this gun is that uh, it's pump, it's pump fire, so uh, you can shoot the type of power. Oh, and also, do not shoot this at any faces or at anyone who does not want to be shot at, because actually, this actually leaves welts. I shot off my G yesterday with it and left a few marks on it. So yeah, little warnings: don't shoot at anyone that doesn't want to get shot at. So um, fire. Let's see what this does. I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but it went pretty far. I'm also gonna have another gun to um, compare this to. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna shoot it back. So, just in case you guys did not see the first shot. like all the way across the room and I didn't even like hear a whistle in my ear when I shot it. It went like, you like it made a whistle noise. Which is really cool. Um another bullet we oh uh in that type of dart goes in like that uh that double barrel shotgun for nerf. Our next bullet we have here <clears throat> is one of these like sticky bullets. Hang on, let me show you the bullet that I'm talking about, like for last time. One of these bullets. I'm just gonna shoot this real quick. And uh, hopefully this sticks. Well, it didn't stick, but it went pretty far. It went like all the way across the room again. So, yeah. I'm gonna shoot this back you guys, just in case you guys not see that. Put the camera up. Catch it. So yeah. That one like right past the camera, so you guys couldn't really have missed that. So yeah. Next bolt we have here is uh one of these bullets that that goes in like the Raider CS35, and it's one of those bullets that like goes on like those clip guns. So yeah, I find these darts probably like the best. 
Okay, let's fire it. So yeah, it actually had some really good air time. Like it didn't even like dip down at all, really. And, like it just. Oh, oh yeah. If, uh, if you're not sure where it landed, like right where my foot is, like a third way across the room after it bounced off the wall. Oh, and I'm not aiming these up high at all. I'm actually like aiming them like straight ahead at me. So yeah. Really cool gun, guys. So yeah, you guys probably saw that, I'm not really sure. Uh, so yeah. All you're gonna be uh, using for this, uh, I'd probably say, um, one of these couplets, and then probably about half an inch to go on the end, so like in here, uh, in there, I have a half inch PVC pipe, like off the couplet, to uh, like actually sit down for in there, because I just did the couplet one time, and like it just like jiggled around a bit, so like I put the end of the PVC pipe in there, and it like sat snuggled in there. Um, this next PVC, probably about six inches, nothing too big, and we have this couplet, and then this is where your scope's gonna go. Um, Right here, I'd say probably about this is maybe four or five inches, and then this, and then uh, we're gonna probably have about um, another four inches, five inches of PVC right here, kind of to just um, measure with this handle right here, um, and then we're gonna probably have about uh, a foot and a half of PVC at the end. So uh, I, I just put the couplet here because it's, it's like really cool. Like it looks kind of like a sniper rifle. If I put the couplet there. Oops. Okay, I'm floating. Um. All right. So that's how you do it. And then uh, I will put a link to the um, Marshmallowville website below. Um, so you can buy one of these guns. They're really awesome. Um. Uh, you can like make your own marshmallow sniper rifle project. Uh, it's really cool, actually. It goes really far. Hurts a lot. <laughs> not well, not really a lot, but like Ellie Rock, I shot her also. She said it hurts like maybe like two out of ten, and it left her a little welt in the arm. So like, yeah. I'm gonna fire. Um, this next dart that goes looks like the air hog robot that tries to shoot your gun down or your plane down. Put a um, put a picture below. I'll like if not, I'll I don't know. If I can't find one, I won't put it below. So uh, I'm just gonna shoot this dart now and see what it does. So yeah, uh, that went really far. Also, it's like it's like that orange dart that I just fired. So it's like really light, really good. So if you're like really looking for distance, use one of these darts. And if you're looking for like a power, use that black and orange dart at the beginning of the video. So uh, yeah. I don't know why, but like every time I record the video and I shoot it back this way, it like always lands short. So yeah, and uh, this last dart we have here, not really a dart, more like a missile, it's um, it's that Nerf bow, bow and arrow thing, um, one of those darts, like one of these, um, the way you put that on is like, you want to have it maybe about half an inch in of the uh, PVC pipe. Maybe an inch, I'm not, like don't go too far though. So let's fire it and see what it does. So it goes decently far, not too, too far. Well, I mean like, yeah, it goes far. It goes pretty far actually. For a Nerf gun, it goes, for a homemade Nerf gun, it goes pretty far actually. So, uh, yeah. I 
you a dark back, but like it's lance short. So uh yeah, that was the sniper rifle. Um oh, it's really awesome. I suggest you build one. But if you um want just the marshmallow cannon, it's pretty cool too. Like I'm just cutting off the couplet so you guys can see what the cannon looks like. Uh let me move back a bit. This is what the cannon looks like, pump action. Uh, you can fire it, and you can twist it open to put like marsh your big marshmallows in. So uh, yeah, that was the homie sniper rifle. Um, next we have uh, this gun. It's actually my very first Nerf gun. Um, I don't want to get the Raider CS35 down here. It's kind of weak. This one is actually one of my strongest actually. But we're gonna compare the rifle to uh, this one. So first, we're gonna have the black and orange one, the one with the whistle. Let's see what that does. So it goes really, really far, actually. Like, that's because I was like, aiming up a bit, actually. So I'm aiming forward to see what it does. So yeah, like, the black door with my sniper rifle, it goes further with the sniper rifle than it does this. And plus, I was standing all the way in the back of the room when I was shooting it. Whereas, um, when I shot it with my sniper rifle, like, uh, and I shot it with the camera, I shot it up and, like, um, not in the very back of the room. So, uh... And I was in the back of the room and I aimed straight and I shot it, so... It went far, not too, too far. Uh, we're gonna do the yellow, or uh, the yellow, purple one right here. And I'm gonna aim it forward and see how far it goes. So yeah, it goes short, doesn't even touch the wall. Um, so far the sniper rifle's winning overall with the dark distance. And power, actually. So, uh, I guess I'll like, shoot back real quick. And I went a bit further that time. But I wasn't standing in the, like, very back of the room. So, uh, we are going to do with the uh, um, orange one. Here it is. Alright, we're going to use this start now, the orange one. And, uh, see how far it goes. <laughs> I shot it and look how far it went right there that orange dart right there. That's how far it went so uh, Yeah um, So I'm gonna have like five in the back of the room now to see like how far it goes from there So yeah They didn't even get out of the gun Alright, I, uh, I had to cut some uh, I need to cut some footage out because like I was interrupted real quick for something. Um, so I'm gonna fire it back here to see how far this orange dart goes. This gun disappoints me. You disappoint me! This is how far out it went of the gun compared to be fully all the way in, like that. Like, it, it wasn't even that far out. So, I think the sniper rifle is gonna ultimately win this one. So, uh, yeah. Next one, we have the red one right here. Let's see how go, the far this goes. Where did it go? Okay. It landed right here. Uh, I'm gonna like pull it straight up. This is exactly where it landed. I did not like make any difference by putting it forward or backwards. Like it like landed right here. So so far the sniper rifle's winning. Now let's do this dark guys. Let's see if we can fire this dark. So yeah. Um, I think it fits perfectly. Alright, uh, as soon as I fire it, I'm gonna let go. 
Okay, it bounced, and uh, I'm gonna have a pen marking where it landed without the bounce. Where that pen is, that's where it landed. But it bounced to there. So yeah, I think that shot pretty far. All right, so uh, so ultimately, this gun wins, the sniper rifle. It is absolutely amazing. Next video, I'm going to be doing a shotgun review. So uh, as you guys see real quick, I already have it. Like I'm, I'm making it right now. Like this is gonna be one barrel. This, like right here, gonna be another barrel. I didn't have another one of these twisty thingies, so I just had to use that. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna just make it longer than that, but, like, for now, that's how it is. So, I think that's it, guys. So, uh, level one for life in the Mycelium Mushrooms. Have a good time with Club Gecko. And keep those gems shining, everyone. Gecko out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching.